Okay, so in this demo, we're going to review how to deploy the landing zones within the Azure DevOps environment. So right now you see I'm on uh, the page of the landing zone and you can see that we have all the different landing zones. If you go into the details of the documentation, you have a bit of guidance here on how to deploy landing zones and the rover inside uh, either GitHub Actions or Azure DevOps. So today we're going to review together how to put that at work into Azure DevOps. So I'm in the famous Contoso uh, Corporation and you can see I'm into their Azure DevOps and you have the usual pipelines and repo, which are the Git uh, repositories. Here you see that we have two repo. There's one for the code itself. So in this one, you see that we have here all uh, the usual uh, patterns that we explained previously. So the landing zone, the blueprint and uh, the modules that are all of them basically uh, created from and forked from the public modules that we have and enriched, added some feature as I would do in my organization. And then you have a separate Git repository, which is about the configuration. We separate the config from the logic as you see. So here, if we go to the landing zone details, you see that I have my different landing zones here and I can look at the details of uh, them. And you can see that here in my ASC, for instance, I have my TFRs for my uh, demo app service environment uh, uh, landing zones. So here I have my file, I have my app service uh, plan inside my app service environment. And here I'm running it as isolated. And you can see that I'm using per site scaling uh, uh, option for this. And here you see the actual pipelines. In order to deploy that, you see that I'm using the agent pool uh, level three. So it's a self-hosted uh, agent. I can see that I'm actually just triggering rover inside this environment with the right variable from the right Git uh, repositories. And if you see the configuration of my pipeline really and how we run it, you just go to the pipeline uh, section. You see that I have defined a couple of environments and I have my uh, library here for the variables that I'm going to use when I run the different pipeline. So I have my secrets not inside the pipelines. And you see that if we go into this pipelines environment, you see that now it's a multi uh, stages pipeline. And as you can see on the screen, I have the Launchpad, the Release Agent, the CAF Foundation, and I can see all the different uh, jobs inside uh, the stage that I have inside my environment. And you can see that I have the choose uh, to rerun the stage. I can see the status and I have one of the fundamentals of DevOps, which is visibility. So here you can clearly see as much as you have your feedback loop on your laptop here, you know exactly what has run on this environment. You know, that's the famous uh, rover in its version uh, 10, 1510. And I can see that no changes were applied uh, when I run this configuration. The configuration was up to date with the script. Also, another part of the visibility is visibility on what I'm running. And you can see here that I have my commit on the config repo. And this is exactly what I run and the latest update that I run into this execution. So that's maximum visibility on all the environment. And if I scroll right, you see that I have here uh, some steps that can run in parallel, my SQL, ASC and APIM. And then only once I have APIM has finished, I will trigger my uh, app gateway. Now you can see that I can choose the stages I want to run, of course. So here I don't want to run uh, App Gateway, ASE, and APIM. So I will remove them from this run and I will just, okay, uh, go with the selected stages. I can do a run. And once I do this uh, run, then basically you'll see it's going to take a little time and same thing, I can follow uh, what is happening inside the pipelines. So you can see that this one is hosted uh, agent. And while it's uh, it's running, I can have a check at the previous run of my environment. And you see that I deployed SQL Server uh, successfully. So you see the SQL as we uh, seen inside the environment with the Active Directory uh, admin role, with the TDE role configured, with the tuning uh, configured, and all the usual settings. And you also have the foundation settings that are as defined in my variable with my log analytics. And remember, automatically, I put my SQL log inside my environment. So that's it for the very uh, quick uh, overview of how to run the landing zone inside your environment with Azure DevOps.